torrential downpours but we made it we're here smoking a god o fire because i'm on fire today and the four roses small batch select coming in at 104 proof now this is the first time i've had this i'm a personal big fan of the elliott select and the jim rutledge select but this is a new one to me so we're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna hit some golf shots. I'm gonna smoke this. I'm gonna get drunk because all I've eaten today was a peanut butter sandwich, which I'm obsessed with. We're out of bananas, but it's neither here nor there now. So let's start drinking. I'm on fire today. Hectic. I'm gonna drink so I can loosen up. I just hit a bomb, a Philly Mick bomb. I'm wearing my my Sunday whites. Feeling a little zesty today. Let's see what it brings us. Small batch select. 52. Alcohol by volume, 104 proof. Definitely not a golfer friendly shaped bottle. I'm gonna put that out there right now. No cup holder action. Maybe maybe if you like slide it in the, in the, uh, the compartment, but I'm just gonna get those bottles that fit the cup holder. It's really important. It's key to sanity. Why do you wanna worry about anything else other than having a great time? It's funny now, I've had private barrel picks of Four Roses that are legendary, very, very good. And like I said, the Jim Rutledge and the, the Brent Elliott Select are monsters in my book, personally. Now, we actually filmed at Four Roses for season one of Vinder Stash, and Brent Elliott took us through the letters and uh, it was pretty Bill Nye the Science Guy stuff. I was uh, I was pretty impressed. So right off the bat, I get I get those really dark. I don't get anything light. It's very dark, heavy, baking spices, stuff like that, caramel, a little vanilla. Interesting. Very interesting things that you get on the nose, you don't get on the palate. But everything changes, so I'm gonna keep on drinking, see what happens. I changed my stroke, I changed my pre-shot routine, where I do the, the one-hander, but no actual practice swings. Because one of those three practice strokes you take might be the one that's perfect, so why waste it? That's my thought. It's like, when I played baseball, I was always a first pitch hitter because the first pitch might have been the best pitch you got in the whole count. Might as well grip it and rip it, right? Same mentality, kind of. Mark that off as a bird. Got 131 right now. Into a cross in wind, so pipe the wedge or knock down the nine. I'm 
okay with that. Lockdown nine worked. Sunday best, I'm telling you, the Sunday whites. It's, it's, it's working for me. But this God of Fire is kicking my rear right now. And I'm okay with that. Go two for two. Yes, sir. Let me ask you something. All you at home watching this, thank you, first of all. But should I incorporate shot tracers in these reviews? Just to tell you that I'm not bullshitting these shots. I don't know, let me know. You know I always answer my DMs. Next hole. Love the nose on this. The color's a little light though. You know, I don't know what I'm comparing it to, but it seems light to me. Okay, my palate's getting acclimated now. A little acclimation. I've been uh I've been hardcore. Yeah. I don't know where that went, but yeah. I've been in a hardcore sly in the family stones lately. Gotta tell you, you should listen to that on the golf course because it definitely helps your tempo. Okay, it's getting there. I'm getting these light earthy tones though, from the from the nose with the with the dark baking spices and the vanilla and the caramel and all, you know, candy is dandy but liquor's quicker. This is uh, this is exactly what I feel about this. It's very uh, getting the wham of the oak on the back end there. Wow, that's crazy. I paid fifty five dollars for this. Now I'm gonna drink that many I'm gonna drink that many right now and by the end of that many we're gonna come to a conclusion on this bottle but for right now I'm on a birdie train Let's see if we can get a turkey so this leg of three holes is is, is amazing uh, at Lake Worth Muni because you have the par four which is tough and then you have this long ass par three into the wind and then you have this drive over par four but power walk. Flying, she's flying. So these, this blue yellow building back here with the purple trim, it's called the Junk Canoe. And for the longest time, I thought it was called the Drunk Canoe because usually when I'm on the golf course, I'm paddling a drunk canoe, but it's called a Junk Canoe. Holy crap, is that a three-legged Raccoon with no tail. A three-legged raccoon with no tail? Don't worry, buddy. Don't hit him. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. There's rain over yonder, but that's okay. We're only playing nine, two under. I got this for the turkey. Feeling good. Fire. Turkey is achieved. I hear hymns, hymns of sweet joy. <sighs> Big gulps.
it's getting better. It's getting good. Sort of like this more and more, but but get a little bit of this astringency. That was so hard to say. <clears throat> on this back end and I don't know what it's from because I've never tasted it before in Four Roses. Four? I don't know. I might have made that up. But it's good. I mean, it's Four Roses, it can't be bad. It's gotta be good. Crafted from six unique bourbons. The hardest shot in golf. The 35 yard bunker shot. Came up short. You know, it's the risks you take. Take it or leave it. So, in closing, not the best Four Roses, but it's good. I like it, $55, I'll grab it. Why not? Who cares? Yes, I'm a fan. Color. Nose, definitely different than the palate. The palate's more light and earthy than it is vanilla and butterscotch on the nose, but it's pretty damn good. It's a good damn bottle. Damn, 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 damn. Bill Bender, the Bill Bender Shove. We're gonna go for Eagle here and get back to 400.